today I'm going to be reviewing this Palomino paint horse that I have right here. The reason why I put it in the box is so I could give you an idea of how it would look like when you would buy it. The reason why I want to review this horse is because when I got it, there were some fails, I should say. So first, I'm going to tell you my story before I tell you about the horse. So I was shopping at Target with my birthday gift card, and the Palomino paint horse was $35, exactly what I had on my birthday gift card. So I thought I could buy her. And then after I bought her and I unpacked her, I saw some fails. So now I'm going to show you what those fails are. First thing that caught my eye is the girth. The girth isn't supposed to be here because if it's here, it can really hurt the girl and especially a boy. The girth is supposed to be up here, not right here. Another thing I wanted to show you is that there's scratches. Let me turn her around. Here are the scratches right here. And then there's also like this paint stuff here. And I don't think I really like that. So continuing. I don't think you might see this, but you might be wondering then why I have this here. The reason why I have that there is because I know the saddle will slide off if I don't have it there because I really have that problem with my original horse. So now we're going to move on to this area. So let me turn her around again. See here, that's where her mouth is. This part is supposed to be where her mouth is. But on the other side, it's uneven and it's by her nose. It's not supposed to be there. It's, it's uneven, I'm saying. That's what I wanted to say. So, and while I was unpacking her, this thing was attached onto her mane. I don't get how a kid is supposed to get this out of her mane because it was super hard for me to get it out. I had to ask my mom for help. And now I'll go ahead and move on to the accessories. This is one of the accessories it came with. And the hair bow, it doesn't really let me stretch it out. I really think they could have made it a little bit bigger, this rubber band, because I can barely get it onto her hair. Same thing with this butterfly one. I really think they should, like, make, yeah, make the rubber band bigger, because I can barely get it into her hair, and I also can barely get my two fingers in there so I can tie it into her hair. Now move on to the hairbrush it came with. The hairbrush is really, I really like the hairbrush. It's really good. It really brushes her hair. Now we have this extension you can put in her hair. Here I can't really put it. Let me try. So I'm actually going to move to the back right here because for me it's easier to clip it in. So as you can see, there's a bump right here, what I don't really like. And if you look at, if you look at the back of the box, you can see that you don't see any bump, and um, that it's like in her mane. I can't do that because with her tail or her mane, it doesn't work. Those are a few of the fails that I've seen. And here are some of the good things I find about it. I love how long her tail and her mane is. I really like that. And I love the design on um, these reins. I love how it's braided and I really like that. But the only thing they could fix is the nose part, like where it's at the nose. I mean like here. I think they could really fix that because it's uneven. 
Now here I have this saddle. I love the design of this saddle, except that this is here. I really think they could have moved this up right here where it's supposed to be. And the worst part is that I have I have my American Girl doll, and if I want, not American Girl, I mean from our generation, I can't even really put her on or else she'll slip off or she leans forward. I don't like that at all. So I really think they should design the horses so they can fit on the horse. Thank you for watching. Have a good night.